Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and in today's video I'm going to give you my movies that I would choose for Columbia Classics Collection Volume 4. Once a year for the past three years, Sony has released a collection of six films titled the Columbia Classics Collection. Uh, these range from many, many titles in the Columbia TriStar line, some Sony titles. They're, they're all together under the same label. So I thought I would give you what I would like to see in a potential Volume 4. Now keep in mind, we don't have any confirmation that a Volume 4 is in fact coming. But they weren't really telegraphing the other three either. So I'm confident that we're going to see a fourth edition sometime this year, whether it is in September or as it was, I believe, last year, a little bit later. I think it was in November when it came out. But I, I think that these collections are important because they give a certain gravitas to the films that are part of this set. And, you know, not all of them are winners. I mean, all film is subjective. Some of the sets I feel have been a little stronger than others. But I think all the movies bring something in one way, shape, or form. And I'm excited to talk about my personal picks. If you're a long time viewer of the channel, you've probably seen these titles that I've mentioned before. I, I, I really think that Sony's catalog is one of the richest out there. They have some great films. And I would love to see all these movies get highlighted on 4K because Sony, they do it right. I mean, the picture quality and the audio enhancements alone make them one of the best major labels out there. And I just would love to see all these movies get the best 4K treatments. And as always, this is going to be my list. If you have any that you would like to put on any list that you have, please let me know in the comments section below. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's dive right in. I tried to use the previous collections as sort of a template for my personal list. So there's gonna be a few on here that will deviate, but I try to stick to it for the most part. And for my first slot, I would like to see we've had romantic comedies such as Jerry Maguire from Volume 1 and As Good As It Gets from Volume 3. So I think Sleepless in Seattle would be an ideal fit for Volume 4. I'm pretty confident that this is going to hit uh, 4K eventually, whether it is a standalone release or part of a collection like this. Um, but I, I love the movie and I think it would be right at home and perfect in this set. Another contender for, for uh, slot one, rather, um, I would like to see something like The American President. I am a big fan of that film. I do watch it on occasion, but this one desperately needs a 4K upgrade. The Blu-ray is a little bit dated, but I think both of these films would fit into that template perfectly. So hopefully one day we'll see it on the collection uh, or standalone release would be just fine. For slot number two, I wanted to go with a straightforward drama. Of course, it could deviate a little bit from that here and there, but I think I have a good uh, bunch of contenders for the slots. So first up, Legends of the Fall, I think would make an excellent option here. It's a beautifully shot movie. So you add that HDR Dolby Vision, it's gonna bring out that cinematography beautifully. And it's also got a wonderful, I think really underrated score. This is, I think, give it an Atlas upgrade, you're gonna get the best possible presentation. And once again, I think this belongs in the collection, um, but I would love a 4K upgrade nonetheless. Another option would be St. Elmo's Fire. This one desperately needs some kind of presentation on 4K because it's also one of those films that also I feel is just kind of getting forgotten in time a little bit. It, it's got the Brat Pack, you know? I mean, it's really got a, it's a, it's a good movie. And I think whether it gets a 4K upgrade or not, I'm gonna revisit it very soon. And another film, I think Awakenings would fit right at home in this collection. It's a more intimate film. But, I mean, it's got wonderful performances from Robert De Niro and Robin Williams. Oh, this is so good. And out of the three, this one desperately needs the upgrade the most. Um, but yeah, I could see a movie like this showing up on a Volume 4 collection. Any three of any of these three honestly could do it. So yeah, that would be my uh, picks for slot number two. For slot number three, I know I've talked about these before on the channel, but I'm going to mention them anyway. And I think we will get a 4K edition of at least one of these. So I went with Kramer versus Kramer. I think it's a movie that definitely has some timely, you know, connotations. It's very, it's, it's definitely something that you can relate to today. And it's got great performances. I mean, Meryl Streep, Dustin Hoffman, you can't ask for anything more. So I could see something like this making the volume four collection. And another Dustin Hoffman film, Tootsie, 
I think would really be right at home here. I imagine this is going to get a 4K upgrade regardless, but yeah, I could see this one easily being in a Volume 4 set. And while technically this one should have been in slot number two, I still feel, I don't know, it's kind of, it, I mean, the gravitas of this film, really, it's basically, it's Martin Scorsese's The Age of Innocence. Yeah, they're not quite the same, I understand that, but I really wanted to include it in there. Criterion put out a really good Blu-ray not too long ago, well, actually a couple, many years ago, um, but a 4K upgrade, I think, would be really I think it would really elevate this set. It would give it a little bit more prestige if this film was included. So any of these three would work, but uh, yeah, slot number three, those are my picks. And of course, this set is all about, I would say, prestige, epicness, and I want to include a few titles that would really qualify. So for the first one, All the King's Men, which is an Oscar winner, and we've had plenty of those in these past collections, I think this one is probably closest to a lock that I could offer in what I would consider uh, an inclusion in Volume 4. This one, you know, it's been many, many years since I've seen it, but it won the Oscar for a good reason, and I would love to see a 4K upgrade. I, I, I don't think I've even watched it on Blu-ray. I think the last time I saw it was on DVD. So yeah, I, I would like to see this one make the jump to 4K, and I'm pretty confident this one will happen. Another one, it's a little bit of an underdog, but Das Boot. I would love, I mean, this one is epic. Yes, most of the film takes place in a submarine, but it's got such a... It's got such a weight to it, and I, I love, I just love the, the 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 drama in this film. I think it would really, I don't know, I think rights issues might have something to do with this not being included in the set, but uh, yeah, I would love to see Das Boot in it. And another one, which I know I've mentioned on this channel before, is Kenneth Branagh's Hamlet. This is an epic, at least in length, but the way it was filmed, I mean, this is a beautiful movie, and a 4K upgrade would just shine. I would love this, to get the full 4K work over, give a, you know, HDR, Dolby Vision, a Dolby Atmos. But yeah, any of these, I think, would be a good inclusion in a slot number four. Slot number five is a bit of a variety. It's kind of a no man's land. There's a little bit here, a little bit there. They all offer something different, but any of these would be worthy inclusions. So first up, the Kane Mutiny. Lately, Humphrey Bogart on 4K has been making a bit of a comeback, so let's add this one to the list. It's one of those films, it's very compelling, and I think a 4K upgrade might bring some new attention, and I would just love to see this film get a proper 4K release. I think it would be really good. So yeah, I could see this one in, in a uh, Volume 4 set. Um, also, Greta Gerwig's Little Women. Now, they don't include a whole lot of the newer films in these sets. I believe uh, The Social Network uh, was one of the newer ones they included in the past uh, collections, but I really enjoy this film. I think it's beautifully shot. It's got great performances. There is a 4K digital copy out there, so they wouldn't have to do too much work putting this one uh, on a uh, disc and putting it part, as part of the collection, so I would like to see it. And also, this one is, uh, you know, I don't have any real musicals on my uh, list here, but I wanted to include this one because I really enjoy the film. So, La Bamba. Uh, really, I love this film. I mean, I, I kind of grew up with the music because it, it was, so, I mean, Los Lobos singing a lot of the songs in this one was great. I mean, it was a, it was a cool film, and I would love to see this get a 4K upgrade give it some more attention. I think it would I think it would be one of those outside chances to see in a collection, but I could easily see a 4K coming regardless. So, any of these films I think would make a worthy inclusion to slot number 5. So for my sixth and final slot, once again, it's a little bit more of a variety uh, than the first four or so, um, but I would love to see any of these get a 4K upgrade. And this first one is a little bit of a nostalgic, uh, sentimental pick. Uh, that is Jason and the Argonauts. Um, this was my father's, one of his favorite films of all time, and if you are still alive today, he would absolutely want this on 4K. Uh, but it is, I mean, it's timeless because of what it did for special effects and technology, and it's a fun adventure film. And we don't really get too many of those in the in these particular collections. They're more, you know, a certain drama kind of aspect. But, you know, shake up the collection a little bit. Add this one. I think a lot of people would really invest in it just for this film alone. And this is another movie that the director is very well known and his name would add a lot of prestige even though the film is not exactly beloved among his fans. I'm talking about Steven Spielberg's 1941. 
it's a comedy. It's got, it's, you know, it, it's got Belushi in it. You know, it's one of those movies that, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a film that I know certain, it's very, kind of got like a cult status to it. And I don't know if it would sell particularly well uh, as a standalone. So throw it in the collection. Why not? You know, we want all Spielberg movies on 4K. I think a lot of uh, fans would agree with that. So if you're going to put this one out, sure, go ahead, shake things up, put it in the collection. And for my last pick, this is another one I know I've talked about on the channel before, uh, especially when it comes to 4K upgraded uh, movies, but I can see this one in the collection, and I'm hopeful one day we'll see a 4K, but I would love to see it in volume four. I'm talking about Paul Thomas Anderson's Punch Drunk Love. Uh, I love this movie. I watch it at least once or twice a year. It's just something about it. Uh, it's so quirky and unusual, and it's really got a lot of charm to it. I would love to see a 4K upgrade. I mean, the Blu-ray released by Criterion was, was good. It was good, but let's give it that 4K gloss. Throw in that HDR Dolby Vision um, audio. It could also benefit from an Atmos upgrade, but I would be fine with the existing, to be honest. Just, I would love to see this movie on 4K. So I could definitely see this in a collection of some sort, so maybe one day it'll happen. So those are some of the movies that I would love to see in a potential Columbia Classics Collection Volume 4. I'm hopeful we'll get an announcement probably in the next month or two of a release. That would be great. And I'm hopeful a lot of these titles will make it. So we'll see. Let me know in the comments what titles would you love to see in a Volume 4 collection. Sound off down below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.